I stopped to talk to you as I was going in the grocery store because sometimes people ride the rails or over there, train. It's not a usual thing to do. You want to talk about it? Yeah. How I get around. He's hugging. I'm free trains and huh? see, get to see different things and travel around. And, you know, it's, Is it safe? That guy Chris, I think McAllister in that movie ruined a good day for me. Uh, into the wild. Yeah. You ever you, see that? Yeah, you just gotta be careful because there's some weird people out there. And then you got the good people, and then you got. You know, I just stay to myself. How long have you been doing it? Uh, about eight years. Eight years? Yeah. You've been on the road that whole time? Yeah. Man, that's, that's a while. I know, it's a long time. Where'd you start out from? Uh, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. So you hitchhike and you ride the rail and you camp. Yeah. It's not as easy nowadays. That's a hell of a pack. Yeah. You got a tent? Yeah, I got a tent. Like, there's a, a pocket here and then on the inside there's another one. And then I got so that's a, your rig. That's your survival yeah, thing. And this opens up and there's another big... Um, Department or whatever you want to call it. And that's like well, you ever thought about there. keep teaching camping at a camp ground for the summer? Uh, no, I've camped in a lot of RV places. And RV places? Yeah, and camped out and popped my tent up. And most of the time, they don't bother you. you know? Uh-huh. Is it easier in the east than it is in the west? Yeah, West Coast. So you jump in a, you actually jump in a freight car. Yeah, the, the West Coast is easier to travel around because I guess more people are used to seeing that, and it's a, a lot of hippies, and they're cool, and they like stuff like that. And, yeah, you know, I'm an old hippie. You get to travel to right. I didn't that. do it for I don't know maybe I did, but I always had a place to fall back on. You got family, or you grew up in Charleston? Yeah, I just matter of fact, I was just texting my mom on my phone, yeah. letting her know I was alive, and uh -huh. I'm in North Carolina. And I had a guy run me down one time. I was hitchhiking with him. He kept yeah. talking about Wildwood, New Jersey, yeah. and he put me in such a state. I had to get away from him. It was scary. I had to get away from him, and I yeah. kind of got paralyzed. I was able to. Call my mom. She sent somehow a ticket. I don't know if she could buy it at the bus station and have it good where I was in Philadelphia. Yeah. And the Philadelphia downtown bus station. That was crazy. I know. I and I was there. miserable. I couldn't function. I'd, I'd really run into the end of my rope, and I really needed some help yeah. getting out <laughs> of Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard city to try to catch a ride or get out. It's, it's I think up that way in the 70s, it was when I first saw plastic grass at the, like gas station. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was yeah. tough. What else do you want to know? Well, or I'll try to answer the questions. I mean, what kind of technique do you do you know the the, the train schedules? If you've traveled enough, yeah, some of the guys that do that, I read that book, uh, "You Can't Win," and it was post Civil War when guys were riding the rails on the West Coast, and they knew. I think it was way cool. Well, it wasn't cool at all for these. These guys were professional criminals and hopheads. Oh, well, I wasn't talking about that. Opium That's head guy, you know, and he got shot after he tried to, even after he tried to uh, go straight at the newspaper where he got a job. I think it was in circulation, which I did the management of circulation in my 20s, too. But somebody still came and shot him. And then that's why he wrote the book. Because he was convalescing, and the newspaper people that took him in yeah. 
say go ahead and write a book and he wrote a book it's it's one of the best books you can ever read he got himself off uh, junk it was opium then yeah that's terrible that's, you know that's the devil. and he was a pro thief you know that's all he did Early in his life, the cops turned him against uh, uh, authority. He was like 10. He was collecting money for his milk route at the brothel. And they arrested uh, Madame and her girls and, and him too when he was like 10. And he never was right about cops after that. His hero is Jesse James. Who's your hero? Your mom's your hero? Hey, you got one. Hey, you got one you know. Is it different than people saying somebody uh, I, out of a I, movie. I, yeah, I don't have like a friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just my mom. That's like my friend. I can talk to her. You know, uh -huh. And she ain't going to judge me. Yeah. Like some other people would. Yeah. You know, and I tell you, that's a hell of a rig. What's the name of that uh, backpack? It's right here. Cantrell. 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 I got a buddy that hikes. See this right here? I like that too. It's got this mesh. It's like a pocket Velcro. Yeah. That's cool. You ever done the Appalachian Trail? I have. Yeah. I've only I've did six months of it. I only did um, from Maine down to um, uh, not Massachusetts but Maryland, Brunswick, uh -huh. Maryland. I'm gonna go on in the store and uh, but I'm gonna okay. shake your hand. I'll tell you. I, don't All right, know. I had a good time talking to you, man. Yeah. And. Uh, <coughs> Let me close out.